How will the biggest deal between SpaceX and the new U.S. government turn the F-22 Raptor into a true aircraft of the future? Imagine this, the newly elected U.S. President Donald Trump has just signed a deal with SpaceX to upgrade the legendary Raptor fleet to a level that neither our allies nor potential adversaries could have dreamed of. This isn't just an improvement, it's a game-changing move. If the F-22 wasn't previously stealthy and capable of outmatching any airborne adversary, it's now set to become absolutely unbeatable and untouchable by other nations. That the Air Force wanted a stealthy fighter, it was also clear that they wanted uh, an airplane that would supercruise, in other words, run supersonically without lighting off the afterburners. Remember how the new president recently promised to reform military contracts? Looks like SpaceX is playing a key role here. Now it's not just Lockheed Martin, other high-tech companies like SpaceX, NASA, and even engineers from the famed Area 51 are combining their knowledge in tech to upgrade the F-22. The goal? To create an aircraft that can not only dodge radar, but also operate faster, maneuver with precision, and launch weapons at previously unimaginable speeds. So SpaceX, NASA, Lockheed Martin, and even Area 51 engineers have teamed up to turn the F-22 into a true beast. Let's break down what each of them brings to the table and why the new F-22 will be even more formidable in the skies. We were really building a fighter for the 21st century that could take on uh, all of the advanced threats. Raptor engine from SpaceX. Just imagine, these engines designed for space missions are now boosting the F-22's altitude and speed. Running on a methane-oxygen mix, the engine provides increased thrust without sacrificing maneuverability. Thanks to this, the upgraded Raptor can reach speeds up to Mach 2.7 and maintain them for extended periods without overheating. Aerodynamics from NASA NASA specialists developed a brand new wing design inspired by the tech used in supersonic record setters like the X-15. The new fairing, made from composite materials, significantly reduces aerodynamic drag while enhancing radar stealth. With these upgrades, the Raptor now has an even lower radar signature and can perform sharp turns at speeds that were previously out of reach. Avionics integration from Lockheed Martin Lockheed Martin took on the avionics upgrade, equipping the F-22 with an AI piloting system and enhanced cyber warfare capabilities. The new avionics include multiple layers of hacking protection and an advanced real-time data sharing system, allowing the Raptor to connect to Starlink satellites and exchange data with other aircraft and bases in seconds. Upgraded components from Area 51. Yes, Area 51 also contributed to the project. Engineers from the renowned Experimental Development Center outfitted the Raptor with new synthetic material-based armor, providing protection against kinetic attacks. This armor is lightweight, but strong enough to withstand impacts equivalent to a 30 millimeter round. Enhanced weapon and fire control systems. The upgraded Raptor now features an advanced version of the M61 Vulcan cannon and modernized pods for air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles. The fire control system integrates Lockheed Martin's AI, allowing it to analyze combat dynamics and suggest optimal attack scenarios to the pilot. This is supported by new targeting systems that can operate effectively, even under electronic jamming conditions, along with a broader range of weaponry for close quarters combat. Stealth Technologies and Radar Absorbing Coating The new F-22 has been upgraded with advanced stealth technology, including an improved radar absorbing coating developed with black nanomaterials. This coating allows it to virtually disappear from enemy radar, even at mid-altitudes. This is the upgraded Raptor, a fully integrated combat machine capable of executing strategic missions and dominating the skies. It's no longer just a fighter jet. It's a platform equipped with artificial intelligence, supersonic speed, exceptional maneuverability and data sharing capabilities, blending the best of aerospace technology and military engineering. Imagine the Raptor after all these upgrades. Its cruising speed is now increased to Mach 2.5, with a maximum altitude of 12 miles and a range of up to 1,864 miles without refueling. The navigation system enables airspace control with centimeter-level precision, which is crucial in today's combat conditions. The upgraded F-22 Raptor isn't just a modernization, it's a whole new level of integration and coordination capable of interfacing with all current U.S. military systems. 
It's becoming the true brain of aerial operations, where every move combines power, stealth, and synchronization with other military assets. The Raptor now functions as a command hub in coordination with 5th generation F-35 fighters and the strategic B-21 Raider bomber. Imagine a scenario where the F-35, known for its deep penetration capabilities, identifies a target and relays its coordinates to the Raptor. The Raptor then swiftly organizes an attack or provides operational adjustments, even coordinating with the B-21 if a large-scale airstrike is required. This interaction creates an unmatched tactical advantage in modern combat operations. The Raptor can also coordinate with the fleet, including carrier strike groups, through real-time data sharing via Starlink, the Raptor relays information not only to other aircraft, but also to naval vessels. For example, the Raptor could receive a signal about an enemy threat from a sea drone, analyze it, and pass the information to the fire control systems of cruisers and destroyers, giving them an edge in response. This setup enables rapid neutralization of any threats in the air or at sea, fostering seamless support across different units. The collaboration with SpaceX hasn't gone unnoticed either. Now the Raptor can tap into Starlink satellites for full integration with intelligence and communication systems. Every second, it's capable of receiving satellite data, analyzing it with onboard AI, and instantly relaying results to the pilot or other aircraft. This gives us a machine that bypasses all known limitations. The upgraded F-22 Raptor is equipped to handle the challenges of modern warfare, and even prepare American forces for the next stage of military operations, where every strike, attack, and move is executed with precision and flawless coordination. However, it wasn't without challenges. The budget was a major hurdle, and every detail had to be perfected to justify the enormous costs. Political pressure also complicated things, as some countries aren't happy with this U.S. modernization. Recent military exercises in the Baltic Sea almost escalated into a new war. The peaceful exercise was interrupted when the F-22s took off to intercept an unidentified fighter jet headed directly for the flagship of the U.S. 6th Fleet. The two best crews prepared for an intense battle and put their weapon systems on full alert. Such an event means only one thing. The two fighters will face off in a battle of wills, and in the worst-case scenario, a battle of arms. To the surprise of the F-22 pilots, they were countered by a 50-year-old Soviet Sukhoi. For U.S. pilots whose aircraft took off with a full complement of 12 state-of-the-art missiles, such a target is not difficult. However, the risks associated with the destruction of a manned Russian fighter forced them to consider dozens of scenarios. But in fact, this is not an isolated case. This is not the first time that NATO forces have had to intercept Russian aircraft on their territory. In the first quarter of 2024, the number of NATO fighter jets intercepting Russian aircraft approaching the airspace of the alliance's allies increased by 25%. In 2023, the number of such flights exceeded 300. Usually, all such missions take place around Kaliningrad. But this time it was different. The Su-24 MR Fencer E took off right under Finland's nose from the Gromovo Air Base and headed for the NATO exercise site. Even experienced U.S. Navy operators did not immediately realize what had happened. This unusual situation required a quick and confident response. A pair of legendary F-22s piloted by the best pilots of the U.S. Army took off from the Amari base in Estonia to intercept a Russian spy. The Russian plane was detected thanks to the RQ-4 Global Hawk drone, which was on duty off the coast of Estonia. The Global Hawk represents a huge tool in its ISR fleet to provide intelligence data to the people on the ground. It is a rather unusual situation when a reconnaissance UAV detects an airborne target earlier than a ground-based radar. Paving a new way for the future, a new breed of pilots coming through. But it should be noted that the Su-24MR is not a typical fighter. This is a reconnaissance version of the Su-24 strike aircraft which was developed in the USSR in the 1970s. It's equipped with a wide range of intelligence equipment, including radar stations, optoelectronic systems, and electronic intelligence systems. This allows it to carry out both photographic reconnaissance and data collection on enemy electronic systems. With a maximum speed of 960 miles per hour and a range of 380 miles, it can quickly penetrate deep into enemy territory and disappear unnoticed with the information it's collected. 
Despite the age of the plane, it almost managed to reach Glypeta unnoticed. The F-22 pilots were surprised by the brazenness and skill of their enemy, so they prepared for any eventuality. The Su-24, obviously realizing its real capabilities and the approaching threat, was not going to fail the mission and took a risk that could potentially start World War III. The likely target of Russian intelligence is the flagship of the 6th Fleet of the Navy, the Mount Whitney Amphibious Assault Ship. Given the amount of state-of-the-art equipment on board this ship, finding out at least some details about it is a great success for the enemy. Particularly interesting are the radar systems. There are three of them on the Mount Whitney. Thanks to them, the Su-24MR will be targeted by the Sea Sparrow missile before it can take any photos. Uh, so the, the benefits are uh, manifold. The, uh, the active duty Navy is able to operate the ship with a reduced number of uh, active duty personnel. The F-22 pilots must protect the Mount Whitney at all costs, so they're prepared for the worst case scenario. The F-22 has a wide arsenal of weapons, including internal bays for air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles, as well as the M61A2 Vulcan automatic cannon. Internal compartments allow to maintain the stealth characteristics of the aircraft during combat missions, so the Russian pilot still does not notice the Raptor behind him. The Su-24MR carries air-to-air, air-to-ground missiles, and KAB-500 or KAB-1500 guided bombs, which are particularly dangerous for U.S. ships. Since most of the weapons of the Su-24 are located under the wing, the main task of the F-22 is to approach and make sure there is no danger to the flagship. Finally, the Raptor pilot sees the enemy with the naked eye. Apparently, the pilot of the Su-24MR has also noticed him, but so far he's not taken any action. When the F-22 pilots get close enough to see the Russian Army spy, they realize that it was not carrying heavy weapons. After exhaling, the pair of pilots began the usual procedure of escorting the enemy aircraft to ensure a safe end to the incident. Both F-22s take up positions on the sides of the Su-24MR and use all possible methods to make it clear that the Russian spy's mission has failed. However, the Russian pilot does not think so and performs a maneuver that could potentially start a war. Gaining cruising speed, it suddenly approaches the wing of an F-22 and dives down to escape pursuit. One can interpret such actions in different ways, but professionals like the Raptor pilots always keep a calm mind. Usually, the pilot must immediately report such events to the commander. Having almost lost one of the most advanced fighters, the command decided to escort the Russian plane at a safe distance. The F-22 pilots successfully completed their mission and returned to the Emory base without losses. The Soviet plane of the 70s is objectively unable to withstand the latest U.S. fighters. After using his only advantage, surprise, the Su-24MR pilot made the only possible decision to land in the Kaliningrad region. Without receiving any important intelligence, it's worth talking about the possible return of the Russian plane by the same route, for which the U.S. Air Force will be more prepared than this time. However, Russia still has many ways to test the attentiveness of NATO air forces. Given the rapid increase in the number of air intrusions, our pilots will definitely be out of work. Such emergencies are always subject to detailed analysis by the U.S. Army leadership. That's why the pilots provide a detailed minute-by-minute -minute report on the course of the incident, its causes, and solutions immediately upon return. The possibility of damage or even loss of the F-22 is considered an extraordinary event, as no F-22 has ever been scratched by the enemy so far. Unfortunately, the decisions made on this situation remained behind closed doors. But we can guess that next time it'll not be possible to catch the NATO military off guard. Given the increasing number of illegal intrusions into NATO airspace and the aggressiveness of the enemy's actions, we should not rule out the possible use of surface-to-air missiles to shoot down an unwanted guest. But what are the consequences? The downing of a manned aircraft will automatically mean armed aggression, but the constant escalation by Russia cannot go unpunished. We have previously encountered the precedents of the downing of an American drone over the Black Sea and the downing of a fighter jet with a crew over Syria by Turkey. These cases did not lead to serious conflicts, but if the U.S. or Russian crews were injured, the consequences could be very serious. Every month, the number of contacts in NATO airspace is growing, and if a political solution to this problem is not found, it could explode at any time, both literally and figuratively. 
Allies around the world, from the Pacific Ocean to the Baltic Sea, faced the challenge of direct confrontation. The SU-24MR incident may be another straw that eventually overflows the cup of patience. At the same time, NATO must demonstrate its readiness to protect its members by sending clear signals that further provocations are unacceptable. Any unlawful interference in the airspace can be a reason for a serious response, but so far the skies over the Baltic continue to be much more turbulent than its waters and claim a possible place to start World War III along with Taiwan, although this is a topic for a new video. That's all for today, but the discussion of this air battle is just beginning. I'm waiting for your comments to analyze this unusual incident by the facts, so please comment below the video. We always have fun here, and if you've watched this far, don't forget to like it. Also, watch other videos on the channel to learn more about the latest military equipment and military affairs, and check out the subscribe button so you don't miss new videos. See you soon.